Hi, it's Nida from Cape Town, etc. And today we've scooped an exclusive interview with D. Carlos Santana and his wife Cindy. You're going to want to watch this. Play by Carlos Santana. Uh, what I like about Cape Town is the people, the people's hearts, their eyes, the fire, the spirit. I love that. Uh, uh, here in Cape Town, it gave birth to uh, the, the Black Panther, Black Panther. Um, I loved the downtown area because there were drummers out playing and, and people were walking around and just the whole energy was, was amazing. Um, I played at the, the, the big arena, but I also played at the slave church, oh, wow. which was pretty incredible. Well, it's a consciousness here that uh, spread all over the world. Uh, beyond Africa and it made us realize uh, how no woman or man is free until we are all free. So I love the spirit of uh, uh, South Africa. It's something that we need to educate and promote more because the more we promote and educate people to remember their own integrity, there will be less corruption, there will be less misery, there will be less brutality. So for me, water and women, like two wings, will, will help in the future this incredible continent of Africa. We are blessed to have this lineage. That's the way that I'm able to be a drummer today is because of Africa. We're in the process of creating a new CD with uh, this incredible producer, Mr. Rick Rubin. Uh, we only have two singers, guest singers this time. They're two women, Laura and Bula and uh, Buika. And, uh, we're going to call, we, we recorded 49 African songs in 10 days. Wow. <laughs> and I'm, we're warriors, you know. You, you, don't, don't let this fool you, you know. We're warriors. And uh, the CD is going to be called Africa Speaks, The World Listens. And I want to read yes. you the poem that is going to be, when you hear the first drums, you're going to hear, you want to, this is the first thing that you hear. Deep in the jungle, Beyond the reach of greed, you hear the voices of spirits with the frequency of light, making sounds like the crackling of stars at night, communicating with plants, animals, and mankind, affirming the universal truth. All and everything was conceived here in Africa, the cradle of civilizations. And when you hear the music, it's going to freak you out. <laughs> <laughs> I love drums so much, I married a drummer. <laughs> uh, from Outlan, where I was born, a little town in Mexico, to Tijuana. In Tijuana, something happened to me that I became aware of fifth dimensional, multidimensional rhythms. Uh, in the 50s, they used to call it musica tropical, because they thought that the tropical music came from the Caribbean, which is Puerto Rico or Cuba. But they didn't know that all this music comes from Africa, you know. Uh, so I, I understood that connecting cumbia, cha-cha-cha, mambo, uh, guajira, I mean, this stuff makes women crazy. <laughs> and, and then you put the blues, which is like from Timbuktu, in, in, uh, uh, which is John Lee Hooker, B.B. King, Albert King. So when you combine um, a African music, all of it, with Caribbean music plus the blues, uh, with long, beautiful melodies. This is what Santana is, B.B. King and Tito Puente. This side, I would love to have played, well, on the other side, I would like to play with Brenda Fassi. I love Brenda Fassi immensely. I came here in 2006 uh, because I donated uh, uh, for Mr. Desmond Tutu and Mr. Mandela uh, to help the children. Uh, so we came here with not a concert, just, just to visit. And so we did get a, a chance to walk around and, and see Robin Island and also see certain places here outside of town, which is the ghetto, 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 ghetto. And so we, we learn about how much we need more 
hospitals and nurses in the ghettos and more water and 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 to educate men so they can not be so brutal with women and children. Uh, we know we can play. You know, Cindy and I, we can play with, and I mean this in the most complimentary way. We can play with any musician in Africa because we understand and love their music, and so we're not tourists. You know. Uh, we're, we don't come here ever to compete or compare. We come here to complement, and we understand, like I understand uh, Cindy's heart in my next breath. We understand this music because it's our music. But beyond that, we want to promote a new way of looking at things, which is consciousness. Uh, we believe that there's a way to create water, salt water into sweet water, and electricity, and there's a way to, and I mean spiritual education, you know, I don't mean to come here like to do anything other than with respect and honor promote a whole new way of perceiving each other. This is why I said with, with clarity, uh, it's important for humans to understand that the future is water and women, with and for Africa first. You know, because water brings life and women bring love and compassion. Uh, so that would be a message that we would want to promote uh, vigorously. It's important to, to um, not only respect each other, but to respect each other's space. So um, sometimes I need to meditate. And sometimes he needs to meditate or read or do his thing, and I need to do to do my thing. And I notice sometimes when I'm in, in a room meditating, I feel some energy, and I kind of peek up when I see him stick his head in, and then he goes back out because he respects the fact that I'm meditating, you know. So I keep I keep doing what I'm doing, and um, he doesn't interrupt that, you know. I. I see him, I, I go in to talk to him and I see him reading and he's very intent and so sometimes I just don't say anything, I just let him do that, you know, or let him sleep or, or whatever it is. So what I learned from my mother about gardening is that she actually would put water on the plants and talk to them. How are you feeling today? Oh, you look so pretty today. And they put water on it. <laughs> and then, you know, the house would smell so good and the flowers would be so good. So I said, hmm, something to learn about that. I think I need to water Cindy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and talk to her, you know? But it's, I mean, what I'm saying is a form of sharing energy with love. Because she was, so the plants knew that my mom was directing her energy to them. And so, they, they reciprocated by, by blossoming so beautiful, you know, I mean, because my mom, she didn't know, uh, my mother and father didn't know anything with school, they didn't, they didn't go to school, you know, but their education that they had uh, on a practical level, mm -hmm. you know, and so I learned from my mother how to nurture, that's what the word I was looking for, you know, so if, I, if I'm, you know, putting water on you, honey, I'm, <laughs> I'm nurturing you. <laughs> no. And so we nurture, we nurture our relationship because we value each other's spirit. And I, I know that Cindy, I know she prayed for me. <laughs> and I pray for her. Yes. And so we've been rewarded. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yo, Carlos, man, you making that guitar.